Let's graph a trigonometric function. We want to graph y is equal to 3 sine of 2x, and this is the form y is equal to a times the sine of bx. We know that our amplitude is equal to the absolute value of a, so for our purposes, the absolute value of 3 is equal to 3. So that is our amplitude. We know that the period for this function, we have a formula. That formula is 2 pi divided by b. b in our example is 2, so we know that our period is pi. So that's some information that we can glean from the function. Now let's think in terms of transformations of functions. We have a horizontal compression by a factor of 2, because the 2 is inside, and a vertical stretch by a factor of 3. So let's do those two transformations here. You can see I've drawn y equals the sine of x. We're going to compress this by a factor of 2 horizontally. So our graph is going to be kind of swished, like it's in a trash compactor of some kind. And if you draw in maybe some quick points, it's going to look something like the following. Okay? So that's the first transformation, a horizontal compression by a factor of 2. Now the 3 out in front is a vertical stretch now by a factor of 3. So this point here will be stretched up to 3. Anything on the x-axis stays nailed down. This point at negative 1 will now be transformed down to a negative 3. So here's our final graph. You can see that that amplitude is 3 and that it has a period of pi radians. So our red graph here is y equals 3 times the sine of 2x.